Sheffield Bridge. Oh, oh yeah, boy. That's nice. That's awesome. You want to go for a swim or something? Oh, there? yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, on that note. Good day, you guys, and welcome back to another fabulous vlog with Nadine and Daryl, the Ruffies, guys. The Ruffies. I think we're headed to Springdale, but we're waiting to see which little communities are coming up. Could be Southbrook first. Not sure. Oh, cool. That sounds okay to me, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a bit long now since I drove here. I can't remember. Yeah. So, whatever, should we say whatever community is next is where we're going? Yeah. Is that safe to say that? Yeah. Um, so, I think it's Southbrook, though. Is it Southbrook? Then you go down through, then you go out to Detroit and all the little communities. And okay. And then when he comes up back into the highway, I think then he goes to Springdale. Uh, I think it might be Springdale first. Also be. And then it's Triton. And, and, then it, and then it goes towards Grand Falls, isn't it? No, Spring, then you got uh, Springdale. After Springdale, you got Badger. Oh, Then yes. after you leave Badger, you drive right down to Buckets. Oh, my gosh. We got a lot to cover yet. Oh, yeah. And then yes. You got Grand Falls. Then you got Bob Wood. Then you got Lewis Ford. Yes. Oh yeah. Then you got the big twelve gate loop. And loop. All that stuff. Loop to do. Yeah. Okay. So whatever town we show up in next, you'll see real soon. Okay, guys. This is our exit off the Bay Bird. Let's, Let's see. see. I've never ever been there in my life. I was at the Bay Bird once. Did you? You're doing a main vert looking for me. That's what it was. You got lost. Got lost, yeah. Well. Oh, you got turned left? Yeah. Wow. Sure? Yeah. Just looks like a gas station. It was the gas station, but the gas station is closed. No, but the exit well, for Bay it is. For Bay Vert. Yeah, Bay Vert's down here. Junction in. We got a little food truck, but that's closed too. Oh yeah, Baver and we'll see you guys. You gotta turn left. Oh, Baver, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow. No, it was in there. Oh, oh, it's way up here. Apparently so. Oh my goodness, where's the road? Right here. Oh, right here. It almost looks like it's hidden. Well, it kind of looks hidden, exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, that boot out there, too. Is it? Yeah. 62 kilometers. Oh, wow. Florida Lee and Let's See, 108 kilometers. Yeah. We're good for gas? Yeah, we are. Maximum 10 kilometers. I'm sure, a snail goes faster. <laughs> Don't he? Yeah. Construction. Another river. Indian, Indian River. river. Oh yeah. Nice. Very nice to need, yeah. So we have about 60 kilometers till we get down there? Yeah. Okay you guys, we'll see you in about an hour. But for you guys it'll be just like what, Daryl? Two shakes of a lamb stale. I thought you were gonna snap your fingers, baby. Oh. Yeah, just like that. No worry, baby. There you go. <laughs> Black broke? Yeah. Slow down, baby. Slow down, slow down, slow down. So bumpy. Oh my god, it's deep. Yeah. Oh, it's such a drop. Mm. Wow. Westport Perbex Cove, one kilometer. Yeah. Are we going in there? No. You never got the sign? Oh, it's tired. Wow. Oh, we both see him? Yeah. No, I didn't get the sign. What did the sign say, babe? Caution, potholes. Oh, okay. Um, so I think we're in Bay Vert, you guys. There's no sign that said welcome to Bay Vert yet. There you go. I, I think this is going to be bigger than what we're thinking.
Florida Lee. Seal coal, ball coal. Oh, wow. Bay Vista Inn. Is that the motel, hotel you were talking about? Yep. You mentioned? Yep. Cool. There's a subway. What else we got there, buddy? Oh, storage units over here. Mm -hmm. We have a retirement oh. living, Wheat Bay retirement living here. Coachman's Cove, Florida Lee. You guys, there's so much here to um, discover. Here's an Ultramar gas station. Dollar fifty-five point nine a liter. That's expensive. That's regular gas. That's not Supreme gas. Wow. Robin's door rooms, huh? Oh, we got a Robin's down here. Well, at least there's something for coffee. Here we go. Oh, Santa Claus is still in the chimney. Oh, so he is. Goodness. We're back in time here. Oh, the hospital's Hospital. up there. I yeah. just missed that story. It's okay. Get that on the way back. Yeah. So this is, um... Favor, yeah. Favor. Oh, that was beautiful back Beauty there. Center. Is that the Fowls? Yep. Body Works, Fitness, Hair Studio Cooperators, Bistrand Bay. The Fowls was nice and beautiful, was it? Yeah, I gotta go back. Okay. I gotta go back. Wow. That was like amazing. That's a cute like little gazebo style at the end of the bistro. Yeah. Cafe or whatever. And then come here. You're good to go. Oh. Okay. So Daryl's taking us back to the falls, you guys. Go hit the car, real babe. a Collins. Mary Brown's wise. Mary Brown's is hiring, look. What? Chicken and taters. Can't go wrong with Mary Brown's. Shopper's Drug Mart, look. There's a Shopper's Drug Mart. Scotia Bank. Scotia Bank. Roads aren't the best down there, guys. Mm. Wow. There's a rifts. What did I say to you coming down? Mm. Yeah. I said, I feel like there's going to be a rifts down here. I've never been down here in my life, you guys. There's a rifts. Yeah. The nugget. What? The nugget something. Mm -hmm. Sports bar or something, don't Careful, baby, careful. It's 
So you guys, it's starting to get a bit duckish here now. So what we're going to do is, um, not in the vlog, but we're just going to close out for us recording tonight right now. And then um, we'll pick it up again in the morning with you guys. Oh, yeah. So they have a rips. And home Harbor. Have, I said Home Harbor too, didn't I? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. We've got your lumber. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, there's a co-op over there. A Bayco sales. They got a co-op. That's good to know. Yeah. What else they got down there? I might actually go in the rifts tomorrow, baby, and have a peek around. I haven't been in the rifts in it's so long. Me too. I thought rifts closed down. I man. thought it was like over with too, but they're still on the go. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna try to. So we're going to grab a quick bite to eat. We um, had Mary Brown's earlier today <laughs> in a different vlog with you guys, the prior vlog to this one. And for our takeout tonight here in, where are we? Uh, Bayvert. Bayvert. What do they have for takeout tonight, baby, here? Subway, Mary Brown's, Robin's. What else was it? Subway, Mary Brown's, Robin's. I thought I seen another thing. Oh, like a mom and pop shop there. Oh, yes, 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 Like yes. with a gazebo thing at the end of it? Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like we're leaning towards Mary Brown's. I just don't know why. Because <laughs> <laughs> we love Mary Brown's, you guys. But um, we may not even put that in the vlog because you guys may not want to see it anyway. So we're just going to have some um, dinner tonight. Yeah, there's a dollar store. Yeah, there's a dollar store here too, guys. Yeah, dollar store's right here, you guys. Still open too. They're still too. Mm -hmm. Until 9 p.m. they close. Well, we have 45 them. minutes if we have to go. Uh, oh, they got Greco. Greco pizza. Look at Greco. And they have a liquor store in Scotiabank. Yeah. Mary Rams is back up right here. So, um, we're either going to get Greco now or Mary Rams, I feel. One of the two. Huh. Hubby gets to decide tonight. We had pizza last night, didn't we? Oh, I guess it's Mary Brown's toys today. <laughs> so, Mary you guys? Brown's it is? Yeah, it's fine with me. Um, we're going to get some supper. And then, like I said, we'll pick up um, the rest of the vlog with you guys in the morning. Yeah. Good idea? Yeah, sounds like so a So, are we going to show any of the Mary Brown's tonight in this video or no? Uh, what do you think? Probably don't have to, hey? No. They've probably so, seen, probably sick of seeing that, though. Yeah, you guys are tired of seeing Mary Brown's, I think. So, um, we'll pick up with you guys in the morning. We're going in to get Mary Brown's right now. Chicken and taters. Love you guys so, so much. And we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. <laughs>
Good morning, you guys. We are in Grand Falls, just leaving Grand Falls, and uh, the fog is so thick this morning. It's very thick. Hope you guys can see it in the camera. It's not usually foggy like this no. in Central. No, not at all. It's usually very foggy like this all the time, you guys, um, in around St. John's. Yeah. It's all, they call that the Fog City. Fog City, yeah. Um, but Central's not usually foggy. No. If, it, if it's this thick all the way going up the highway. Oh, well, we're going to take our time. We're probably, we might even pull over and go to sleep. <laughs> it's 5.47 a.m. We've been up since 5. Wow, look at it. So thick, eh? Hey? You could cut through it with a knife, say Billy. Yeah, cut through it with an axe or something. Yeah. So she's pretty tick. We really got to be careful because moose. here in Newfoundland, you guys, a moose could pop out so easy. Oh, Nadine's going to touch base on. We went to Bay Vert. We showed you guys. We were uh, going to spend the night out there, but oh, the fog is starting to lift. It's starting look. to lift a little. Look at the blue sky down there. Look. Yeah, that means it's going to be a nice day. Yeah. A beautiful day. Oh, it's starting to lift. Yeah. Why was it so thick back right there? Oh. Oh, because all the bags and stuff? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Oh, Could be the dew, dew as well. Yeah. So, what were we saying about... Oh, we had to last... pack her all in last night and leave oh. Bay Vert. You guys, you guys. I hope we're recording. Yeah, the red light's on. Um, we went down over Bay Vert Highway, which was rough as old Kearney. Oh, yeah. And fit. <laughs> when we got there, we showed you guys around a little bit. And then after that, you seen us eat at Mary Brown's. We had to silent that part of the video you guys saw, but um, copyright with music and everything, we had to, like, mute it. And then we were getting ready to settle down somewhere for the night in Bay Vert, and this lunatic... Oh my. Drives by in a truck and he's cursing profanities like you can't imagine. Like to me, in my opinion, he was on a rampage. Yeah. And this day and age, you guys, <laughs> when stuff like that, stuff like that is going on, you gotta be um, mindful. You gotta be aware and alert. Yeah. And so we both got the vibe that, uh, and we said going down Bayvert Highway. Because it's really rough going down to get into Bayvert. Oh yeah. We said we're not coming back here tonight. And then after we heard this loony, this, this person go on the way that he did, we both looked at each other and we're like, yeah, we don't feel like um, staying here tonight. No. And it's crazy because we wanted to go down to, what was it, La Cie? Oh, yeah, La Cie, yeah. And there was another one, another little town. Nippers Harbor. Nippers Harbor. There was another little town down by La Cie. Uh, there was another one. Anyway, we were planning on going down there today with you guys and recording all day with you. Seal cold, was it? Oh, there's Seal Cove and Wall Cove down around there, too. Yeah. But there's another one down around La Cie. La, La, La something else, I think. Florida Lee. Florida Lee, that's it. Yeah. And we were planning on vlogging the whole day down around Bay Vert area with you guys. But last night felt really sketchy, and we both agreed, we're out of here. We're peacing out of here. Yeah. So then we had to come out back out of Bay Vert Highway, which is about... 60 kilometers? 63 kilometers from the highway. So that, to get to the main highway, this highway here, TCH. So when we got on this one, it was another, how many hours to drive to Grand Falls? Uh, was it an hour or was it two hours? 113 kilometers. Of so you guys, it was over two and a half hours driving last night. Um, Extremely tired. Very tired. We had to turn the music up on blast. Yeah. We had to like pinch at each other and pick at each other to keep because I was starting to nod. Daryl was getting tired, and we know we should pull over when we're tired, but we didn't want to sleep on side of the highway because that just don't make sense. No, it's not, the, it's not safe. And what did we see on the way up to? Yeah, so on my side, there was this big, big, big moose, and he was like moving, and I really felt like he was coming towards like the highway towards us. Yeah, and then there was a guy behind us, and we slow down, of course, because we've seen the moose. And the guy behind us, because we slow down, he pulls out and passes like a freak. So he goes on. Yep. And we were just praying that he was going to be safe. Thank God nothing happened to him with the moose. But the moose didn't come on the highway. 
And we were thinking about backing up, and then we were like, no, that that just might not be safe either because it might startle the moose and he might come right at us. Yeah. So, you guys, it was kind of weird last night. Um, but, yeah, our first time seeing any sign of moose in Newfoundland had to be in the dark on the worst of the worst highways in my books. Yeah. And... Um, so anyway, we're hoping in the broad daylight, maybe today or the next day, we're going to see a moose. And you guys will see it in a clip. Because we know some of you guys are not from Newfoundland. You may not be from Canada. You might not be from the States. And we want to try to get um, as much wildlife and stuff in for you guys as we can. Because maybe some of you guys are not even used to seeing what a moose looks like. Maybe you don't even know what a moose looks like. Um, so anyway... We couldn't film the moose last night because no. it was pitch black. It was so dark out, and um, everything just happened so quick. It happened so quick. We couldn't. And it happened so quick. Like he, he almost came up on the road. Yeah. And, and he was very close to the roadside. And just just one single lane going down the Bayford, and one single lane coming up Bayford. Yeah. And the haulers on the side of the road yes. is almost touching the asphalt, and the roads are. It's almost like you're out in the woods somewhere, you know, going... It's, to, to us, we feel it's very, very dangerous. It is, yeah. Because a moose could shoot out so quick, and once he shoots out so quick, and oh, if, he's, if he's in front of your car, yeah. and you're going fast... Sometimes you haven't got time to react, you no. know what I'm saying? Well, that was really close oh, last night. that was really night. close, man. If he had to be running, he would have came right oh, through this pass. Oh, that's true, yeah. Like, I would have been eating moose antlers now. Because you wouldn't see the moose, because I don't look like a... I guess you call it a normal highway. Yeah. Regular highway, well, I guess. Yeah, the main highway. You would uh, see it like coming out on the road because your light sees all on the shoulder of the roads and all this stuff. Not Empty just. Ditches, not, because they get the stuff cut back. Yeah, I was just going to say. The hollers and the trees are all cut back probably yeah. 50 feet from the highway. Yeah. But going down the Bay Road Highway is oh. all. You've seen it. We've vlogged this year. Yeah, you've seen a bit of it. So. The trees and bushes and altars, like Daryl said earlier, comes right to almost the shoulder of the highway, which is so dangerous. Because the moose could be right there, and we, the drivers may not never see him, yeah. and he just pop right out into the road. And it's too late once you're going even 50 kilometers an hour. Yeah. And the moose comes up and goes bang. Like, it could be fatal. It could be. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, thank you, God, we're back at a bay bird. I said to Daryl, when we go down there again, it's going to be like a day trip, I think. We're going to get up early one morning, and we're yeah. just going to plan the day and just go on down and do all the little coves and all the little um, communities. Ports import, yeah. Kim, imports, outports, yeah. We're going to do all that in one day, like make it a day trip. Um, yeah, last night was just very unsettling for both of us, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So anyway, thank you, God, we're up out of it. Daylight has come. Um, <clears throat> we're going to actually take a little bit of a break on the vlogging with you guys. And we have some other cool, fantastic um, video ideas for you guys. And um, we're getting ready to get into those, I'd say, within the next day or two. Um, but we have an, an, an loads of videos backed up now for you guys to be watching as we slowly release them to you from our journeys of just starting way back in Port Bass, Newfoundland until right now at this point. So after this video, we may, it may be one more vlog or two more vlogs, but it may go right into something different yeah. that I think everybody would like, lots of people would like. So um, it depends on what we're in the mood to do. Yeah. Um, Anyway, if you guys want to continue seeing more vlogs, let us know. Um, if you want to see some different types of videos, let us know that also. Did that change, too? That Irving has changed, yeah. Camper van, see that? Yeah. Gas right here is 148. Huh. Back in Grand Falls, it was 154. Something like that, yeah. A, uh, a, a liter, liter. yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, look, it's still a bit foggy. We just passed, or we're passing Bishops. Bishops, yeah. Yeah, Bishop Falls. We still got to be careful, like we said, about driving because moose. So here in Newfoundland, what do we have for um, wildlife, honey? We got moose, we got caribou, we got bear, we got lynx, we got coyotes. I mean, we're in the land of plenty. <laughs> <laughs> When it comes to wildlife, oh, yeah. that's just like some of the medium to upper, you know, bigger size animals. 
Then for smaller animals, what do we have? We have rabbit. We have foxes. What else? Grouse. Grouse. Ducks. Seagulls and crows. Geese. Geese. Oh, we got we got the loons. Loons, yeah. 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 Okay. Anyway, you guys, back to a little bit of a blog vlog with you guys. We thought we would just update you guys on last night because I know you, some of you guys are going, you're just here rambling and chit-chatting, but where's Beirut? Where's, you know, this part of the island? Yeah, that was too weird for us last night, so yeah, we got out of that and um, we crawled at a Beirut highway. Oh, yeah. We like literally like almost yeah. crawled. Especially after we seen that moose. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Because when we left the community, we were probably four or five kilometers out of town and back yeah. East, you know. Mm -hmm. And when we seen that, we just said, okay, we're going to take our time, Slow pick our way up. Yeah. <clears throat> Grandfather took his time. Yeah. He's the best driver ever. Look okay. at the sky, you guys. So pretty, right? Hey, ma, ma, ma. It's a good morning to see a moose, so I can tell you. That, or is it good morning to jump in the brook and get a bath? Oh, too chilly for that. Six degrees, it ain't. Come on, Daryl, nothing wrong with it. There's nothing in around here. No sign of no moose. But as soon as it, we see a moose, you guys, we will definitely um, turn the camera on, hopefully, and capture it in the video for you. Yep. Pitch of falls. Is it exploits? I can't remember now. Yeah, I think it is exploits. You gotta be so careful driving in the fog, you guys. Look. That was a transport truck. If you didn't know. Yeah. Um. Beta Spare Highway, yes. There's somewhere else we gotta visit. Beta Spare Highway sounds to me like, um, favor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Kinda, kinda freaks me out. Is it the same or no? Kind of river and stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Like, dollars out on the road, unless they caught it back. Is it very bumpy and everything, like the highway? No, it's quite a bit of new asphalt down there. Oh, Harbor wow. Brighton, St. Albans. Oh. Tis pretty foggy. What a beautiful morning, you guys. Couldn't ask for a better morning. After the fog lift. Do whatever it is. Sun just coming up, boy. What a morning. Keep your eyes peeled to eat for a moose. Yes, why? Where's the sun gone? She's 